Hey guys, this is Anuj from Prepped and Polished. I'm gonna give you three tips on how I got an 800 on the SAT2 chemistry exam. So tip number one, studying, taking practice tests, and writing flashcards. The first thing I would do is get your hands on a Barron's or Princeton Review test prep book. Start going through the book and focus on those content areas that are giving you the most trouble. Then start immediately doing practice problems. As you get practice problems wrong, start to think about why you're getting it wrong. Is it a key equation, a fact, or a concept that you're just not getting? Write it down on your flashcard. Next, practice tests. You want to start taking practice tests at least three weeks before the day of your exam. Start with the Princeton Review or Barron's test prep practice tests, and then about a week or two weeks before, start using the college board exams. Now, when you're taking these practice tests, make sure you mark all those questions that you're getting wrong and build flashcards. With these flashcards, you want to review them at least once a day, every day, leading up to the day of your exam. Tip number two, formulas. For this tip, you want to get a sheet of paper and write down every formula or equation tested on the SAT2 chemistry exam. For example, here I have the henderson hasselbalch equation, pH equals pKa plus log base over acid. Now what I want to do is think about how I need to manipulate this equation to solve for something I don't know. If the question gives me pH and pKa, I want to figure out how, do I, can, how I can solve for the ratio of the concentration of base to acid. If it gave me pKa in the, in the ratio of the concentration of base to acid, I need to be able to solve for pH. Go through all these different equations and think about how I can solve for what I don't know. Become very familiar manipulating these equations and all the aspects of them. Tip three, memorize facts. The SAT2 chemistry exam tests facts all the time. Some of these include what color does barium glow when it's burned? or various flame test colors, solubility rules, or intermolecular forces. You just want to memorize them. In order to figure out what's soluble and what's not, there's no way around it besides just memorizing them. So make sure you go through every single element and figure out whether, can, whether how it dissolves, whether it dissolves in certain solutions or not, and figure out what colors are attributed to what elements when they're gone through the flame test or even solubility. Make sure you know all the intermolecular forces and even other facts that are not listed here. Write them down in your flashcards and review them every single day leading up to the day of your exam. And there you guys have it, the three tips on how to get an 800 on the SAT2 chemistry exam. Study, take practice tests, and write flashcards. Memorize all the formulas and be comfortable manipulating them. Memorize all the key facts, flame test colors, solubility rules, and intramolecular forces. For more information, check out preptandpolished.com.